Welcome back to DTV. Now most of you know I'm also a Valley firefighter and it's time for our safety check-in. This one is just in time for the holidays. I'm joined by Phoenix Fire Captain Ruben Saavedra. Nice to see you, Councilman. Captain, come on. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming out. So what do we have here? Well, you know, right now we really want to emphasize on the holidays. It's that fun, festive time of the year when uh, where everyone's getting excited, getting Christmas lights up. But we want to make sure we realize that we need to uh, pay attention to the safety issues. Safety issues, like we have uh, the, the, the lights and many people are going to decorate their homes, uh, many lights within the inside the home as well. What should we be taking a look exactly. at? Exactly. When we look at some of the lights, especially when we're doing our outdoor lights, it's really important to make sure that we get the appropriate lights. We want to first make sure that the lights have been tested and making sure that they're UL approved or another company that's reputable. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we want to look at all our wiring. We want to make sure there's no broken bulbs, making sure there's no bare wiring because these can cause a fire hazard there. They can actually uh, get hot. In addition to that, we always want to make sure that the lights are actually for the outdoors. Mm -hmm. We don't ever want to use indoor lights and put those outdoor because that can cause a fire hazard there. And I was just going to say that you and I both know mm -hmm. that, you know, we, we get a few extra house fires. Many times it's because of uh, lighting issues when people put the wrong lights on their home. And that's very true. And that's why we really want to stress the importance of fire safety during the holidays because, again, the holidays are fun, exciting times. And that's the last thing we want to see is a tragic event during the holidays, such as a fire that could have been prevented. That's right. Now I see a power strip here and there's a lot loaded into the power strip, which can cause an issue. Right? Exactly. And a lot of these power strips are only rated for so many uh, outlets to be plugged into them. So it's really important that you look at the, what the manufacturer's specs are on that. In addition to that, we don't want to overload these because we've all seen movies like, you know, Christmas Vacation, where it's totally full of outlets. We don't want to see that because, again, it can cause a fire hazard. That's right. Now I see candles and I'm, I'm glad that we have these. Many people for religious reasons or simply just to relax. We all like having a candle in the home. An unattended uh, candle is uh, all the reason to uh, call 911, unfortunately. Exactly. Right? And as you know, as a firefighter, candles, these are a big cause of why we have fires sometimes. And during the holidays, you have to remember the houses are decorated. We have Christmas trees in the house. So there's a lot of extra combustibles that can cause a fire. So having this ignition source here, like a flame on there, we really need to watch where we put these, how close we put them to Christmas trees or decorations, and make sure we put them on a nice flat surface where it keeps them away from children. So there's no potential for these tipping over and causing a fire or causing any type of injuries. Mm -hmm. Now, any of this stuff can happen. So it's important that we're all incredibly safe. Uh, things like smoke alarms should always be checked, right? Exactly. And the thing is with smoke detectors, we always encourage that you check them once a month, push the button, make sure the battery is working appropriately. And in addition to that, we always want to make sure once a year that we actually replace the battery on there. So a lot of people pick their anniversaries, their birthday, different things like that. The nice thing about a smoke detector is, you know, I don't know about you, but a lot of times when I look for gifts for family members, sometimes I have a really hard time deciding what to purchase for them. A smoke detector is a great gift. In addition, don't just purchase it for them, give it to them as a gift, but then actually make the effort to go to their house and install it where it needs to be installed. Yeah, S spoken like a true firefighter. Only <laughs> firefighters give these as a gift because I've actually done it myself. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, but you're right, checking it, and what I usually tell people is every time you're gonna mm -hmm. check, change the batteries in your remote control, change the batteries in your smoke alarm. It's prob probably yeah. about that time. Uh, and also what I tell people, much like I'm sure what you tell people, it's not just installing a smoke alarm. When that alarm goes off, what do you do now? It's important to have that, that home escape plan in place. Uh, it only takes uh, less than two minutes for an entire home to be engulfed uh, by flames from the time the smoke alarm sounds, if it's a real fire. So think about that. If it's two o'clock in the morning, where are your children? And do they know, that, do they know what to do? It's a scary thought, but it's something to be getting ahead of, right? And, that is, and that's excellent there because again, like you said, if this goes off, you need to have a plan. You can't develop that plan during an emergency situation. That needs to be pre-planned. So when you talk about having that escape plan, exactly, where is the escape plan? No different ways of getting out of your house. And in addition to that, have a place where you guys are gonna meet outside. Hey, here's a light pole. We're gonna meet at this house. This is where we're gonna meet. That way we know we're all together. Because as firefighters, as you know, when you arrive on scene, there's nothing better than the family says, we're all out of the house. Nothing better than that. Exactly. Uh, let's make this holiday season the most memorable for all the right reasons. For more information, log on to Phoenix Fire's website. Keep watching DTV.